as the title shows, this is my sacred god deck, and I basically fuse some of the sacred beast engine with Slifer, the Sky Dragon, with the new support for it. And I've won 80 duels out of 20 online, and the 20 I do brick and don't draw what I need, but any deck can do that. Well, almost any deck can brick, and it's all about who has the better hand opening up to go for the win. And just to note, if you have two Hamans in defense mode, Haman says you cannot attack any other monsters but me. So if you have two Hamans in defense mode, none of your monsters can be attacked. And there's times this deck can easily bring out two Hamans, and that's the focus, along with Slifer the Sky Dragon by tributing their monster as disruption. And then Slifer is popping their monsters. If they summon something over 3,000, it'll be down to 1,000. But even if he's at zero attack, both Hamans are in defense mode with 4,000 defense. They have to somehow get over that. While then you go, you draw for turn. You draw one card, he's at 1,000. You activate the field card, it's a free pot of greed. You draw two more cards, he's up to 3,000. And then you're basically going from there. You can just leave the Hamans in defense mode and... Or play the spell, negate something, put it back to defense mode. And both Hamans in defense mode are... Basically protecting you ultimately from um, being attacked while the fail card um, protects them from being targeted. And then Haman sitting there, I mean, not Haman, Slifer is sitting there just getting powered up and destroying all their weaker monsters and making their strong monsters weak and so forth. So it's going to be a speed through because I am going somewhere and I'm excited to go somewhere <laughs> with company. And just get out and enjoy my day. But I was up one night just playing with my Slifer deck. And it's extremely fun. And um, when they curse you out online. And they're telling you the worst things. You know your deck is doing something good. So this is like I said. This is phase one of my Slifer build. Very simple. It shouldn't be that expensive at all. And let's just get into it. So the heavy hitters are three slifers the sky dragon. You didn't see that. Pretend you didn't. Three slifers the size dragon. Three Haman Lord of Striking Thunders. I did have Dragoon in here, but then imagine drawing three sacred three sacred beasts and two gods and then going into Dark Magician and Red Eyes. So I was like, let me just take them out. And it doesn't really focus on an extra deck. It just focuses on bringing out um, Haman and Slifer. Three um, Dark Beckoning Beast. Three Chaos Summoning Beast. Two Dark Summoning Beast. I still run to Darkest Diablos because if you have this in hand or send it to the graveyard um, when you tribute for any of their effects to bring out um, Haman he's a free summon and then you could just send him to the graveyard himself to just put something back in their deck um, giving them one less card to play with the only hand trap because we like playing and interacting with our opponents but I love this card and then if we could set up a column after going second Summon this, pop something, and then even if you just have this, you can tribute for Dark Summoning Beast. And that's it for the monsters. Very simple, very to the point, and searcher, one card play, going to bring out Haman. And this gives you the field card. This searches for the spell. You want to search the spell first. And if you have a Sacred Beast in hand, search out... Um, Chaos, so this way you can tribute him because he gives you an additional normal summon to bring out um, Haman and then banish him from graveyard to bring the field card for protection and a, a free pot of greed. For the spells, great disruption, and you can just tribute their monsters, let them go off. You have your, your field set up, just tribute their monsters for soul crossing, and you bring out free um, Slifer. Alongside your sacred beast. I love this card. You could either wait if they set. Or even if they summon stuff. That you know it's not problematic. 
um, just have Thunder Force attack face down. You can tribute it on their turn, but I like waiting for my turn because this card cannot be negated. Tribute, destroy their monsters, I mean. You can destroy their monsters, and it's, if it's on your turn, you draw a card for each destroyed monster, powering up um, Slifer even further. So I think this is basically it for the new support, and they're quick plays, so it's interruptions on their turn. Especially this one, just bringing up, um, playing on their turn, you have your Haman in defense mode. Even if Slifer is zero attack, they have to go through Haman first. Um, after you already tribute three of their monsters, Haman's 4,000 defense, and then since Slifer is on the field, he's destroying anything 2,000 and weaker on the spot. So even if they summon something 3,000, become 1,000, and then that's 1,000 trying to get over Haman's 4,000 defense while Slifer is protected by Haman. A searcher, three opening spirit gates. You can easily go play this, summon out the monster searcher, and then ser and search depending on what your hand is, um, either or the other two. You only really need two fallen paradise. Third one would make no sense. You only need two and a searchable, and especially when you can search out the monster with this, very easy. Free pot agree every turn. That's what I like. I've had Cipher powered up to eleven thousand just. Playing the, the spell card, destroy all their monsters, draw cards, and then you cannot you cannot activate any other effect except one. So then Fall in Paradise, just draw two, since you have a Sacred Beast on the field. And that's even more powerful for Slifer. One Foolish Burial. Two Foolish Goods. Board Interruption, but you can replace this to Super Polys, just in case they have something that... You cannot negate with this because this could be negated. This can't. But just in case they have one card that's problematic that you can't get over. Super poly it away. And then the other monsters are fine. You can just tribute the mon the fusion monster you just summoned with the su super I mean soul crossing. And then summon Slifer. I still like playing one child's play. This gives you 300 um, light points for every monster they summon. And then once your light points go over 10,000, your monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. So even if you have Haman protected by the field card or even Slifer on the field and you have over 10,000 light points, your Slifer cannot be destroyed by battle. And then he's just staying on the field, just getting more powered up every turn. So imagine him being protected by this. He can't be destroyed by battle. And then you draw for turn. That's another 1,000 added to his attack. And then at playing Fallen Paradise, a plus two pot agree, that's 3,000. Well, for you just taking your turn and activating the field card, add it to whatever cards you already have in hand, making Slifer even more powerful. Once you really strike, you can search this out by the continuous spell and send it to the graveyard with foolish goods and then just bring it back from the graveyard with um opening. Two part of a uh, equivalence. If you have three monsters, including your opponent. If there's at least three monsters removed from play, put them all back in the deck and draw one card. So if they banish cards or whatever the case is, or you're banishing for your own effects with the monsters, you can just put them back to recycle and draw a card. One Harpy's Feather Duster, and to make it a 40 card deck, um, Awakening of the Sacred Beast, this gives you, as long as you have two Hamans, you get, no, one Haman, you'll get juiced up with a, a attack, I mean a light points. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be real fast, and I really don't like speaking that much, but I wanted to put this deck out there. I, th I thought it was fun, and I'm the only one fusing it with Sacred Beast so far, so, you know, I want to put my my 50 cents in, and like, look, I like Sacred Beast. Uh, you're um, Slifer with Haman. So this is my Sacred God deck. Um, The extra deck is just anything you want, really, but... Very generic and simple. I really don't go into my extra deck at all. Except for like maybe one or two cards. So we got the one Reliquence Enema. If you summon the level one monster. I like taking their monster and then going from there. One Link Karibo. This is just in case you play Cyber Dragons. You could get rid of their main monster and whatever else. Super Parley target. You could just get rid of the whole board if you're playing Cyber Dragons. 
I've come across a whole bunch of cyber dragons, so that's why I I've been playing them online and I put them in. They are a decent amount of cyber dragon players. And then super poly target. Super poly target. Super poly target. And super poly target. I took what I had. I like I said I really don't go into the extra deck, but these are just generic super poly targets to break boards. Um get rid of cards. These are really the only two links I really use at all. Especially this in combination where if I have the field the continuous spell out, um I'll chuck a spell for it and bring back the level one. And once this is already in graveyard, I would activate effect to tribute, tribute the level one back to the graveyard to bring him out. And then since he was tribute. If this is in hand or great or graveyard, this brings itself out. So even the spell by itself is just I just accumulate monsters real fast again and I can even sacrifice my monsters for Slifer or just activate the spell card and get rid of their monsters. No side deck because it's just this. Like I said, this is phase this is the first build, phase one. You can put whatever you want. I just figured I put it out there too so you can see the build and see the potential and then you could go from there. You could put expensive cards and you could put droplets if you want instead of super polys if you have the money. Um, I have super polys, I mean um, forbidden droplets but I'm tired of sharing it in all the decks so I figured I have, I got tired of sharing the same cards and then if I'm playing one deck and I'm having one person play the deck while I'm playing another deck. I'm missing cards, so I can't play, really use them. I'm uh, like, let me just leave this very simple with whatever extra cards I have that's there. So it's playable, and I can play, let's say I have company over. I can play them with a fully functional deck and teach them. Well, I hope you enjoy it.